No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. I'm in here today with Bass Pro Shop's very own Remo, and we are having a conversation with the one and only underground legend, sensation, icon, Twisty P. Free my Crips is doing life. We smoke an ace. The Crips are doing life? <laughs> just... Which ones? <laughs> Eric Holder. He's probably doing life just about. Nah. So what's the word? What you been on, my boy? Twisty, you smoke? What you been on, right? Sure. That's a wrinkly ass cigarette. That thing looks like you brought it back from Vietnam. I've been saving it. Is that the box I bought you? Because I bought you a pack of Newports like last time I nah, seen you. I totally showed you up. And up. Nah, you pulled up. I was tripping. Yeah, what the what was that about? I asked you for Newports? Nah, you, all right, so uh, we were supposed to meet at the No Jumper store, and then your homie came to the store, and you was there with him, but you ain't show up for like an hour or two, and he said you was like outside sitting on somebody's stupid shit, you ran out of cigarettes. So I sent Stevie to go. Out of so I sent Stevie, I said, hey, go grab him some Newports and shit. So I went and got you some Newports, and then you finally put up like 30, 40 minutes later, but he said you was having like an anxiety attack or something. Nah, uh, hell, uh, I brought that fool's outfit too. OT? Whoever your homie was, I had your weed and shit. Who's OT? No, it wasn't over weed. It was over a cigarette. Oh, word. Yeah. That's when, so like... That's why you didn't want to... Life's kind of rough when you're beefing over, like, a single cig. Just a cig. Just a lucky strike. That's all. Word. So we got you the pack and you were straight. Yeah. But what's up with that cigarette? Like, you've been saving it for how nah, long? Nah, it was in... Uh, yeah, I've been saving it. You had, like, in your pocket? You didn't have a box for it or whatever? Nah, I, I uh, you know, I know Tsai, I know Tsai. What's that? Japanese? Uh, something like that. No, it's Korean. You were working on your Korean? No, nah, I mean some. Uh, um, no, nah, I learned that. Just saying hello for a cigarette. You learned it from Two Cups Harry? No, 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 no. Is Two Cups Harry Asian? I mean, no, he's Asian. But what is? You he's know? handsome. You said he's handsome. You're a fan. Big fan. Love Two Cups. With Two Cups Harry, I used yeah. to live together. In, right? What, what was that, what was that about? You said he's handsome. <laughs> It's a supreme couch. So you was living on, sleeping on King the cans. sleeping at, sleeping on the supreme couch at Two Cup Terry's house. Yeah, all the time. Eating McDonald's. To this day, because I think I didn't y'all fall out. You top flight blue. We had a falling out, you know. I seen the fallout was over because I bought some merch and shit. Y'all ran it up on some merch and they were saying that you had ran off with the money and never sent the merch out type shit. I think that's when Flight was managing you and shit one time. Cause I had sent Flight some money for like a promo from you. Like before I was even on no jumper. This is, so you in flight. What happened with the merch? Y'all ever got that shot? Oh, I, um, nah, I mean, I ain't true, man. I ain't no, nothing there. <laughs> <laughs> so you ain't, y'all good though? Like you yeah, in the top Blue flight? Cool. Oh, y'all all good? We got the tat the same day. But you're not working on your career together anymore? Or like who's involved in your career at this point? One and only. Just you? There's higher beans. There's higher powers. All the, there's higher powers everywhere. Higher powers? Well, that's not like management. Autographs, all that kind of Autographs. That's more like a fan interaction type yeah. of thing, right? Yeah, it's a little fanned out, you know. It's okay to be fanned out by your, your own manager. I don't Not so when you take mushrooms. Like Fortunato. What? So over some Tocina. So flight wanted an autograph from you while y'all was on mushrooms. No, 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 no. <laughs> he wanted Tocina from the homie Err 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 er, er. John Wick. Tay John Savage. Wick. <laughs> Tay Savage. I just saw John Wick for the first time. Take it. You about to hit the filter? Yeah. We gotta give my man's another cigarette. I got another cigarette for my boy. So what the f you know, no, Twisty? Yeah, what, Twisty. What's, what's, what's been going on? on? Bro, I had a crazy, crazy ass last week or so. <laughs> what happened? Sunday, Domingo for me is a, is a thing. I don't know. Domingo, Santo Domingo. I love Rochi. Um, I'm a malandro. I'm a malandito. It's fuck for like. What's that mean? Uh, like a hoodlum, super hoodlum. You love being a hoodlum. I love slapping wild nena. I love slapping freaking. Uh, I Santo. What is that? This is all like Latin music? Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny. So you had a crazy week last mm -hmm. week because you was listening to Bad Bunny? Nah. 
What was the week about? You said it was a crazy week for you. That's why I'm trying to figure out what happened. I, just, I don't know what you mean. I feel like this interview know. has been pretty much danked. Like it's already been edited. Is how it feels to me in my head at least. It might be the mushrooms. But um so what's going on? Like, okay, my last memories, just to recap for a lot of people out there, there was a crazy twisty P arc where we did an interview with you, me, House Fun and Blasey, and then you were supposed to pull back up to appear on a live stream with House Phone and Blasey, but you were beefing with somebody on the internet and they uh, hid in the parking lot and jumped out from behind a car and beat your ass with bl- brass knuckles. So then you showed up. In and out, and I did a promo for Mike Dimes. For who? McDonald's? Mike Dimes? Yeah. Mike Dimes? Okay. <laughs> but but you like came onto the live stream and your face was like all the f- up. <laughs> and Blasey ended the stream, which what was I singing? I was singing DC Trill that day. I was going off in a manic episode and, and That was you, a manic you guys, episode. You guys gave me new clothes and shit. Oh, you shit. guys gave me a new fit. I, was I wasn't even there that day. I just had to hear about it. Yeah. I didn't my toe didn't get fucked up either. Your toe? They said yeah, that everybody you said my over. toes and shit are all fed or whatever. Yeah, that's what I heard. Dang real. Well, so who packed you out? How what? do people even know about your toes? Uh, Drake's son packed me out. Adonis, Adonis whooped your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Adonis got hands like that because you was bloody as fuck. Got hands. <laughs> got hands. That fool got hands. Is it six? <laughs> Years old. Is he? Drake's son? Yeah. I mean, he might be seven, but he's he's very very young. Yeah. Yeah. But so he beat your ass. I feel like Drake probably keeps him on a pretty short leash. I doubt he's letting him run plays like that, just trotting all over the valley, nah. fighting internet people, right? Was it over Yeet? What do you mean? The fight, like, Adonis beat your ass because Yeet and you fell out. Y'all don't really rock no more. I mean, I was I Drake. Um, there was another rapper, but I can't remember who it was. I forget his name. He was, like, some underground rapper that I didn't really... Learn too much about besides that she was beating with. Yeah. Now nah, what's the real story though? Like, well, who? Like, yeah, you pulled up and just some niggas was outside to fight you. Just one dude, I think. It was just one person, and he was hiding. Nah, nah, he snuck me for sure. But it was somebody you knew. Like you had like we fought over a skateboard. It was on some. Or, yeah. you stole a skateboard or something. Nah, nah. Um... Nah, I didn't steal that fool's board. I'm gonna look it up right You now. did a trick on this board? Like, what happened? It's just, I got a fight. I did a f- sick ass trick on that fool's board. And I'm jealous you beat him in skate. I got a f- brand new Air Force One Supreme tricks, f- Jordan sweatsuit tricks. I got a whole bunch of tricks. But you're not supposed to be swinging a board like this. I can't find the thing about who it was, but whatever. We'll, um, we won't give him his shine. But I'm only, you're supposed to get some clout if you like beat up a rapper, right? But it's supposed to be a rapper? Hell yeah. You did drop some, you did drop some, you still dropping music? Right. Or what? You, oh. you still doing the music sh- no. I mean, I got my computer in the car. Right. Right. When well, last time you recorded a song? Jesus. Yeah. You're over it? What? Music or? Music? Yeah. Life? No, no, I ain't over I ain't, no. I ain't over it. So you're still charging ahead? Yeah, I'm I'm full throttle. Freaking thronage. Thronage? <laughs> you ready nice. to take the throne? Motivation. I'm fucking trucha. Te quache as f- <laughs> We got to try to stick to English because I don't <laughs> speak in Espanol. Right? My bad, dog. All right, guys. Today, our sponsor, King Palm, has a very, very big announcement. They were the first to pioneer the natural tobacco-free palm leaf roll. And then they lit up the smoke shop industry by releasing their flavor palm leaf rolls with a squeeze and pop terpene-infused capsule inside the filter tip so you can activate a delicious blast of flavor during your session at any time. The flavor lineup was so mouthwateringly successful that they released their first ever 
flavored hemp cones with a similar concept in the filter tip to juice up your joint experience. After those slam dunk products built the brand's reputation, over time, King Palm decided to drop a new exotic material that was seldom seen before them when they dropped goji wraps, which come as an orange flat sheet that you can use to roll up your exotic blunt. And now, for the major reveal, King Palm is evolving into an all-encompassing smoking wrap company that offers products for every preference in the smoking world with their brand new tobacco line that is dropping this year. Products ranging from tobacco flavored cones with a squeeze and pop filter tip in three different styles, strawberry kiwi, banana cream, and natural sweet cones. And the other half of this lineup is the perfectly cut flat wrap five pack tobacco sheets to roll your blunt. They have these three styles, blueberry, honey cognac, and natural sweets. And they also have their luxury lineup of five pack tobacco wraps with a custom glass tip coming out soon. The first two styles, cherry vanilla brought to you by the game and a natural dark reserve hand selected for unrivaled consistency. Their new tobacco series launch is groundbreaking in many ways, and this allows everyone to enjoy everything from one familiar brand. Get them at every smoke shop across America and even at your local 7-Eleven. Doesn't get much more convenient than that. Check them out on socials and use our discount code NOJUMPER50 for 50% off at kingpalm.com. Take the natural path with King Palm. Tone just looked in here like, are you all right? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> la, la, la. Are you um manic right now? Me? Yeah, what's yeah. going on? I mean, I am manic. I mean, nah, I, I wouldn't say I'm manic, but, uh, you know, certain thoughts do creep into my head sometimes. I feel like I shouldn't say them, but, you know. Or are you getting so, up or are you, are you sober? What do yeah, you mean? Like doing drugs? What do, what do you consider drugs? Let's start with like meth, cocaine, any kind of pills. What does it look like? I don't know, it's hard to tell. Because I remember last time you claiming that like, despite all your antics on Instagram, that you were sober. Uh-huh. Which was like hard for a lot of people to believe because you were wilding out so hard. Uh-huh. But, you know, so now I'm still kind of similarly yeah. confused. I can't really tell. No, nah, I mean, to me, it's just a mic check, you know? I mean, we're, you doing drugs? Check the mic. Is a mic check? Uh, I wouldn't say doing drugs. No, nah, I believe kids should stay away from drugs. Don't do drugs, just, you know? That's what you believe. Be careful. How are you living? How am I living? Yeah, like, what you on right now? I'm on Lucky Strikes. Why? I'm tamping the pack, flipping the cig right before I smoke the pack, and then I run out, I pass it to my homie, JK. But are you on meth while you're smoking Lucky Strikes? Um... You could say that sometimes. <laughs> you could say that. Damn, how we, we got to get you off of that, shit, bro? Like, are you just consigned to that being the rest of your life, or are you are you trying nah, to get nah, clean nah. at some point? It's a pretty tough thing to get clean off. I mean, shit, if you ever been to rehab and someone passes you a parliament and you get a green light, I mean, it's kind of like, what are you supposed to do? I mean, we could worry about the cigarettes later. I feel like we should be worried about Yeah, I'm not worried about the cigs. Yeah. If it's about the cigs, I'm not worried about cigs. Yeah, I mean, that's that's a small fish. Could, it's, yeah, yeah. So when last time you smoked, man? I shot it up. Or have it what do you mean? You on it right now? The stuff? Yeah. Bolsita? You on it? Scante warrior. <laughs> right? Scante. Right? Yeah. I know a couple guys that have been telling me are Scante warriors, but... It's unofficial. You listen to Lefty Gunplay? Yeah. I heard you tapped <laughs> in. It's the yes. He said it like before. You I tapped in the Lefty? The yeah. yeah, cause you from California, right? What part of Cali you from? I forget. I know you said I mean, like an hour out. Uh, me and my mom used to stay at uh, 1050 B Street, right across the street from San Diego High School. Um, I used to eat BLTs. I had a Chihuahua. Still got Lola. Um, How old is she? She likes pissing on the carpet when I'm not there. 
and she's in old age now. I'm guessing since oh we're yeah, she, like her for a long she time. yeah, OG, so. mm, OG Lola, um, Falana. So like, I, I'm I'm trying to get like a little bit of an idea of like what has happened in your life since the last time that we interacted with you. Which a lot, a lot. I mean, two K twenty three. I mean, if we look at the statistics. Um, let's see, a year ago, 99. Yeah, man, I, I feel like it's there, you know. Um, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Sway's back. Fuck with that shit. Fuck with that shit. Tough. That shit hard. So you're focused on the music now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I try to think, like, lyri lyrical, like, you know. I try to think lyrically. You think that's the future? Thinking lyrically? Well, just lyrics in general. A lot of yeah, the, yeah. The future. A, a lot of the music that you came up being associated with was not particularly lyrical, right? I don't, no, not necessarily. No. People don't talk about Yeet as a lyricist that often. No, he. I think he even like teabags lyrics in his OGM shit. Teabags him? Yeah, he's like ah oh, lyrical, lyrical. Blah, right. Blah. You so. ever teabag anybody? Nah. Gabby. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that Gabby? Because it was rumors you and Gabby was dating. Nah, we we ain't, we ain't a thing. <laughs> Y'all used to date though. So the people who don't know, nah, Gabby, I, Gabby what was you a, considered dating, Remo. Oh, that, that's just what they say on the internet. Underground lore, they say that you and Gabby ended up dating. So Gabby is a underground rap super fan. I was a fan of Summers, and she kind of went crazy a little bit, right? And she was going on live. They say I look it's like a, her dad and shit. Uh, people saying I was dating. You actually went live with her. And you hit some coke while on lava, her, and that went viral. And, shit. and she was uh, dissing Summers and shit. You actually did Summers and shit. you said, uh, you said his Timu dress was all over the floor at that concert. What were you referring to when he got in a fight at with Summer with Homicide Gang and shit? I mean, I'm I'm mostly I'm mostly referring to freaking Barberside. That's it, you know. What's Barberside? You know the that they spray on you after you get a cut. That's what you meant when you said Timu dreads? I don't know what I meant. I don't know what, <laughs> what is? I see Timu dreads everywhere. Does he have fake dreads? Is that what you're saying? What do you mean? Summers? If they got ripped out, I mean, how I real are they? Natural dreads can get ripped yeah, out. Real yeah. Yeah, ripped out yeah, so. yeah, for sure. I mean, I've worn extensions and I've let a, you know, someone. Uh, my bad. I'm just oh, yeah, you, you trying to get your cool dreads off Timu. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Extension and shit. Yeah, Timu sure. Dreads is crazy. So you were uh, on the homicide side with that with that fight, it looks like. You you ain't rocking with Summers. What do you mean? You, you f***ing with Summers? It seemed like you was dissing him. When you was I mean, I, I'm, pretty sure you, I'm pretty sure you could ask Saimir World. My first TikTok was uh, listening to Summer in the Summer. I like Summer. Pull out that fire, for sure. Listen to Autumn in the Autumn? In the autumn? Yeah, I made a TikTok to Autumn, too. Twin Uzis. I even showed him it, too. Backstage. But, yeah, you and Summer Giant got, like, a relationship or anything? He's a Scorpio, so. So you f*** Scorpios? Man, Scorpios are tough. I'm a Gemini. Um, do you... But, so, you were happy to see Summers get his ass beat on stage? What is that entailing? A bunch of people punching and kicking him on an elevated platform in front of a crowd of people. Disrespect the five. Homicide, homicide. <laughs> no, so you you told them to do that? <laughs> nah, bro. You think I'm you think I'm cool? Nah. I don't know. You so you know, I don't know. know. <laughs> we don't know who you're No. So you fought with Summers in them? Cause you used to be Slay Road out. You used to be rocking with Slay Road. I fought Goonie, bro. I fought I Goonie. Goonie. I yeah, fought Goonie. Tough. I don't know, Goonie. but I fought Goonie's been showing me shit. love for a minute. As a Goonie. recent. Or like how like uh I mean as a in blues house so but you and blue like I still got a relationship because it seems like no nah, I haven't talked to blue in a minute nah because you ran up with some money right I'll, I you know I know blues number by heart but so I'll, I'll call him but so did you run off with the money like that's because that's why I seem like I fell out from what I see did I run off with yeah it? nah bro the f so you didn't that fool's in Hawaii bro all right. So you, you ever abuse a dog with Xavier Wolf? Abuse a dog with it? Nah, but I guess he he was 
dogs up. What? That's an OG SoundCloud legend. I know Xavier. Turned animal abuser, I guess. I know Xavier. That's crazy. Leave the dogs out of it, man. Whatever you're going through, just leave the dogs. Yeah, save the dogs. Save boy. the dogs. Save the dogs. He's, so, a, he's a wolf, so I guess it makes sense that he would abuse a dog. You see, you see a wolf and a dog in a confrontation, the dog is just like a pussy ass wolf, so. Tight shit. Does make sense. So, what the f up, Twisty P? Who you listening to right now? Because, you know, you usually. When it comes shit, to the I, shit, I like Word of Bud, Bone Thugs, 3 6, Stay Fly. I f love Juicy J. So, you moved on to like older slash more yeah, mainstream yeah, yeah, rappers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You said f the underground. Whoa. Nah, it's never f the underground, but um, nah. Cause you're you're known for like, all right, your whole thing was you blew up on TikTok, listening to you. Right, but my whole life isn't a TikTok, so I don't want to be known as that. So you're trying to stay away. From yeah. It? So you're kind of happy they're trying to ban TikTok. The, uh, I mean, when you're walking around, I mean, shit. If they're trying to ban TikTok, then. Dog, they uh, shit. They might. Congress just passed a bill where they possibly mm -hmm. might be banning TikTok. They might right? be banning it. How do you feel about Joe that? Biden's, Joe Biden said that he would. That he Bing would bong. Sign it. <laughs> Bing bong. <laughs> Dark Brandon said that he would sign it. That he would. That he supports it. That's gonna mean that we wasted a pretty significant amount of energy and time uh, yeah. building up our TikTok. Well, I mean, I deleted all my videos when I was manic. So. Yeah. But we've been like paying people for all these years to update the TikTok. We got two million followers. All of a sudden, that's gonna go to go to waste. I mean, I really don't give Up. a f but they can yeah. just come watch Instagram reels, right? Right. Right. It's the same thing. No, nah, hella, bro. It's just a different algorithm. Um, here's my question. You were very early on the Yeet wave. Now he's huge, like out of there, out of here. He's in 2093 as we speak. Yeah. I mean, do you feel like you don't get the credit that you deserve for helping to usher him into the mainstream? I mean... Would you have a career without Twisty P? Uh, nah, you know, that's not his debt to pay. That's my debt. Explain that, though. Why you, why you say that? Um, shit. I so let me ask you this: Were you compensated anything for even like helping blow up Yeet in a way? Like Yeet ever? No, I, I wasn't over. I, no, I wasn't compensating at all. I, um, let me know. Freaking, uh, no, I wasn't overcompensating for Yeet. No, I'm saying like, <laughs> did they give you anything for like the work that you did to help kind of like take his career to the next level and shit? I mean, I got to kick it. <laughs> yeah. So y'all just like friends for a little bit, but where's that relationship now? Like y'all ain't kicking it no more? No. You think it's because you got a new manager? He? Yeah. Because you know, he, he used to be managed by... Oh, next are you talking about uh, Bia? Yeah, now Zach uh -huh. Bia like... All right, so the word on the street he's is... He's been signed to Zach Bia for like many years, right? Yeah, but he was working. I heard, there. I heard, I heard when I was staying out here that that Zach uh, was just a rich kid and his dad owns Dior. I'm not sure. When you were hanging out with you, was Zach around back in the day? No, no. Nextel was around, right? Yeah. Yeah, so like um, he was managed by Nextel. And yeah, shit. I remember Nextel like DMing me on Instagram one time, and he was like, "This fool didn't even shower yet. He already knew I didn't shower." Like. <laughs> You don't shower? I shower, bro, but fuck. How often? I use Irish Spring when I shower. Irish Spring hard. I got I got a bar of that. How how long would you go without a shower? Me? Yeah. Week and a half. What's up? Um, nah. What are you talking about back then or now? Now. Oh nah, nah, nah. You look pretty crispy now. Shit. Appreciate it. Back then though, uh, you you go. I'm not of, sure. I'm not sure. What's the longest? A you shower think you went? is like, huh? What's the longest you went without a shower? The no. longest I've went. Oh, that's a tough one. Um, let's see, what was summer last year? What was the summer of last year? 2022. <laughs> 2023. Okay. 2023. Yeah. Okay. That you haven't showered since then. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, where do you live at now? And like, what have you been doing? 
Um, I've just been chilling, skating, skating, skating a lot, just skating around as much as I can. Sometimes I gotta get told to get off the board. Why? So Why you been going too hard? <laughs> um, what's the last trick you did that you were really stoked on? Kick flip. It's a pretty good trick. I can't kick flip, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't skate either? Though? No. I mean, a kick flip's an elite trick. Not That's pretty real. You could be a pretty good skater and not do a kick flip, you know, if you could shred the park. You could, you could be Ryan Sheckler, <laughs> but you can't be Paul Rodriguez, you know. So. They can both kick flip. They're both fucking steezy as Yeah, legends. That's a fact. They're both rich as too. So I, oh, Nigel, too. Nice. Nigel can kick flip. What's your thoughts on uh, the 2093 album I Eat? Cause it was like uh, mixed I love when you married you with me. That shit hard. I like that one. And then, uh, yeah, I like I love. So you f with the the project like overall and shit? Yeah, yeah. Cause you I know mean, a lot of people been saying that. Yeah, they, they, they been. Aura. Yeah. Oh shit. No, but they said that same shit about Zelly. They said Zelly Ocho is losing his aura. Same shit. I still fuck with you. I don't think he's losing his aura, but that's you know you've been seeing everybody saying that shit, like on a, especially like when he him and Zach were walking down the street. He kind of did the no, but that that shit was like that shit was well. I mean, it's Yee, bro. Yeah, she'll be doing that. Yeah, who can go aura for aura with Yee? Mm. Cardi, Sep. I f you talking about September's Rich? Yeah. Are you hip to Ian? Like Connor? Nah, Ian Ferguson. Like the the new Yeet. He's very excited about him. Nah, I'm sent me a song the other day. Multiple songs. Mm -hmm. I feel like he's the the new the new guy that's about to Ferguson? Yeah. I mean, it goes by Ian, but people say Ian Ferguson. You ain't you're hip to him yet? You been seeing uh -huh. him? Like, figure it out. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not hip. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm not people hit. been he's been getting mad eat comparisons and shit recently. He's a oh, white word? frat boy. He's, word? he's he's hard. That's sick. That's sick. Yeah, that. Go tap in with him. He got a song called "Figure It Out." That's kind of going viral and shit. Word, word, word. Hooters is pretty lit too. So you Hooters? Know, yeah. No, I just haven't same. heard it. Yeah, I just yeah. haven't heard it, so I, I can't make a statement. So who are you listening to in the underground right now? Like who you in the underground? Shit, I gotta think for a second. You're like a tastemaker. Like people. Look I mean, shit, shit. Underground for underground, I'll probably go like. Oh, uh, that's hard. Right. That's a little hard. Can't name one person. I mean, I, 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 I can name you. a click. Osama, but I can't. I can't. Yeah. Huh? Osama, son. You f with him? Yeah, I f with Osama, son. Yeah. I I asked M well if I I showed up when it was raining that day with my homie. Um, that met Desto Dub. Uh, this kid named Poof from where I stay at and shit. Poof. Yeah. And uh, right after he dapped up Desto Dub, he, you know, uh, he already had a whole fit and shit. And I was like, I was like, give me the ox, fool. I'm playing fucking GTL tape right now. Jim Tan Laundry. No, no. Yeah. No, no. Um, okay. But what is your relationship with m -Well like? m -Well? Yeah. Um, we you? we've kicked it over at Cookie, the old Cookies and Kick store. Um, been yeah, just on on yeah, yeah. Uh, he was there at the Osama Sun, and you know, I knew they weren't gonna let me in because he was turning around. And he was like, "Are you good? Are you good?" I was like, F "Dog, like, I'd rather you go kick it with what you're putting on, you know, and what you're putting out than my stupid ass just trying to, you know." I always see him out. He's always out and about. Yeah, in the he's Dago legend too. Yeah, yeah, he's from San Diego. Mary Mesa High School. Yeah. Oh shit! Okay. So he kicked you out, or you told him? They no, no, no. I, 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 I left. I went to go ask the homie that met Desto Dev for some feria, and I couldn't get the what's feria money? Money. Oh. You was asking Dove for money, or your homie for money? My homie. No, I wasn't. I wouldn't ask Dove for money. That fool's got a rolls or some shit. <laughs> yeah. You got a bunch of cars. All right, so like besides Osama Son, anybody else like in the, that we should be looking out for in the underground? Like, that uh, might make some noise. What do you mean? Anybody listening music. to music-wise, like 
you named a whole bunch of old school rappers and shit. Like, who who got it right now? We said Osama son. Flex music went crazy. Uh-huh. I mean, shit, bro. I couldn't tell you. Okay, here's my question. Why are you doing this interview? What are you hoping to achieve with this? Um, shit. Um, maybe, maybe, uh, I don't know. Nigga, you hit me up a couple times asking if the interview is still on, and you're not even talking a lot. So, like, I'm <laughs> you're like to totally out. lost. Like, are you? What's like, yeah, you like, what, what, what are you? Like, what's the vibe? What are you on? What are you trying to accomplish? What are you trying to trying do? to promote your shit? Like, uh-huh. You seem like you like have no idea how you got here. The people at home are me? think that you didn't like go out of your way to schedule this. <laughs> <laughs> you were excited about it, and then now you're uh, not saying shit. So uh, I know, I, but but that's just how I am, bro. Keep it a bug. Yeah, that's just how I am, you know. You're just all over the place. Yeah. You're high right now. I guess I'm high. Yeah. What drugs have you done today? Um, shit, bro. I don't know. Big pharma. <laughs> that is pretty general, right? <laughs> they make all kinds of stuff. What? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Do you? Uh, Do you need help? Like, are you trying to get your life together or anything? Like, if the people did a GoFundMe to get you into rehab or something, would you be into that? Or uh, I don't feel like it's rehab. I'm a very visual learner anyways. That's not so. really as much about, like, learning. Right. It's more okay. just, like, trying to get, get help, right? Yeah, I mean, tell Zoot to roll the blunt. Fuck. That's hard as long. That's, that's your lyric? Who's Zoot? No, just some guy. He rolls blunts? Yeah, fast ass blunt roll. <laughs> All right, you got anything you want to leave the people with or anything else that we need to know about where Twisty P's going or where you've been or what's coming? Uh, um, shoot. Uh, uh, on the road again. That's true. Uh, <laughs> definitely one of the weirder conversations I've had on camera in my life. I mean, fuck like, fuck like, there's no joker who's going to make the jokes. Like, the f- Yeah. I mean, the world does need a, not a clown, but an insane clown. You fuck with them? Insane clown posse? posse? Yeah. yeah. I learned about them in rehab, actually. <laughs> what they teach you about that? No, no, no. Uh, some Hawaiian dude gave me some food and shit, or he gave me like some candies, waiting for my mom to pick me up at, from rehab and shit. Oh, shit. And then uh, he was like, "Yo, you ever heard of this insane clown posse guy or these guys? You kind of remind me of these guys the way your story is being told and shit." And then he put me on. I heard they were fucking balling. Those fools are rich. Yeah, they're doing yeah, their thing. Those fools are rich. Shout out to them. Uh, all right, Twisty P. Twizzy P interview. We gonna start a GoFundMe. We gonna get this nigga back in rehab. I think that's the vibe right now. I don't know. My boy ain't talking. Kurt Mac got 50 grand. He got 50 grand from GoFundMe. Niggas donating and shit. So do we need to start the, the, the mm. Twisty P rehab GoFundMe? I mean, you I feel I, like you need help. I don't need shit? a GoFundMe, bro. I'm just. I, do you feel like you need help, though? Because it seems like you're a little spaced out in here. No, so. no, no, no. My bad. Uh, <laughs> Does it seem like that, bro? Yeah, nigga, like we asking you questions. Uh, you acting uh, weird. We feel like we should not take you to Skid Row because you might. Not I mean, but uh, that's crazy you say that because I was just there doing what? Uh, Sleep. yeah, sleeping. So, all right, sleeping are you homeless right now? Yeah, Keep it real. Shut up, sleeping really? at Skid Row. Yeah, kicking it, you know, all that type of shit. They got some good drugs down there. Right here. You yeah. sample? You partake? And what? The drugs downtown. Fetty on Fetty on Fetty. I got in the streets with me, do seven years for me, R.I.P. Fuck, I don't even know. <laughs> there better be some good YouTube documentaries about this. Anyway. <laughs> My boy. I need some commentary because I, sure. I don't know what the last half hour of my life has been, really. And I would like for somebody else to explain it to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Twisty P, appreciate you very much, bro. Uh, if, if you need anything. If you need reach help, out, man, yeah. reach out, man. Y'all let us know in the comments. I feel like my my boy need help, man. I, f- I feel like we need to we need to get you some help or something, my boy. It might be a little too late, but you think it's too late? 
nah, bro, it's never too late. Never say never, man. It's hey, Justin think, Bieber's birthday. Because they're gonna put you on like schizophrenia meds or some shit. So that's they why, already like, have fuck Abilify, fuck Seroquel, fuck fucking uh, what else? They try to put me on fucking bunch of bull Zyprexa, fuck all that shit. If anybody wants to try to diagnose Twisty P in the in the comments, that would be appreciated. I guess we could fucking you better spell Bible when you diagnose me. I have like a little group project in the comments. Man. Spell Bible. Basic instruction before leaving Earth. There you go. Shout out to the Jizza. Um, but I don't think it was on the Jizza album, but it's not a Jizza song. I forget whose song it was. Um, appreciate you, man. Twisty P, no jumper. Thank you, Remo. Uh. Check us out on TikTok, Patreon, Instagram, Kapakindama, NoJumper.com. Smash the like button for Twisty P. Hit a birdie, hit a lighthouse, do all that shit. That way. <laughs>